Christmas Eve is even more important this year, at least in the nation's capital, because the U.S. Senate is scheduled to pass a historic health reform bill. Uh, if, as is expected, the Senate does find the 60 votes it needs to pass the legislation, it will move very quickly from being a bill to a law. It may not uh, get to the president's desk by the State of the Union, as he had hoped it would. Uh, that's at the end of January or early February. Nonetheless, the likelihood that health legislation will become a new health law uh, has uh, skyrocketed. Uh, it, it will, in all likelihood, happen despite all of the complaining by Republicans and efforts to slow it down. The question is, how will it play out? Nobody knows, of course, uh, whether it will be a major boon to uh, the health coverage of Americans. Uh, but most political experts do believe that it will be a political drag on the Democrats, at least in the short term. Um, 2010 uh, was already going to be a Republican year when it came to midterm elections. The uh, party out of uh, power, that is the party that does not control the White House, uh, uh, usually does lose seats in the House of Representatives. And because of the relative unpopularity of health reform and other Obama initiatives, uh, probably more than a usual share of Democrats will lose their seats in the coming year. The real problem with health reform in particular is that despite its uh, very high promise, uh, none of the benefits, or very few of them, will be felt by very many Americans by the time election time comes around next November. Uh, so the, pres the Democrats may very well have a gigantic accomplishment, uh, starting with the Christmas Eve vote, but they may not have enough to show for it to uh, translate that into electoral success in 2010.